Hey everyone, my name is Ben. I'm a lead educator at Drift Exchange. In this video, I'm going to talk you through how you can provide liquidity into the Drift and XLM pool, specifically for the Joker game. So people have been asking, well, how do I provide liquidity? And I think there are a lot of new people to liquidity within the Stellar community. So this might help you too. The reason why you'd want to provide liquidity into the uh, XLM and the Drift pool is because then you would get access to the rewards that are going to be provided by the Drift Exchange team for the next four years. Uh, so, you know, it's something that if you are into farming, yield farming, yield chasing, you might want to watch this video so that you understand it. If you are not into that and you don't understand it, then you can watch this video and you might learn something. I'm going to do this one from a tutorial wallet that I have. This is an Xball wallet. And I'm going to be using the Lumen Swap client because I feel that it is the easiest client on the Stellar network. It's very, very clean. It's very, very fast. It's simple to use for new people. That is why I suggest it. I appreciate some people are going to be coming from the world of mobile only. If you're using mobile only, then you will need to get your secret key and come in through that way. A lot of people don't like that for security reasons, but if you are using a mobile with LumenSwap, it's the only way you can do it, okay? There isn't another option for you using LumenSwap. There are other options out there, there are other clients, but I am not promoting those in this video. So what we're gonna first of all do is we're gonna come to Launch App. We want to be using the AMM, which stands for Automated Market Maker. This is the liquidity pools right here. So we're gonna click onto there, and as you can see, we then have this very clean and simple to use uh, interface. I'm going to connect my wallet, and as I said, I'm gonna be using an XBall wallet, so I'm coming down to XBall. I'm connecting here, and I'm accepting. All right, so I'm now connected with my Xball wallet at the top here. You can see the wallet is populated. You can use a freighter, you can use a rabbit, albedo, ledger wallet, whatever you choose here. And as I said already, a secret key should you wish to do that. Once again, all you would do is go connect wallet down to private key and enter your private key and you're off and running. As soon as you refresh that page, then that forgets your private key and it's all secure once again. So I do it to buy lottery tickets with LumenSwap, etc. because I find it very, very easy and simple to use. And this one, I've gone through a browser extension wallet, as you saw there, which is this one here, this Xball wallet. Right then, we can see that I've got a little bit of XLM. But the first thing that we need to do, guys and girls, is we need to ensure that we have the drift token, the correct drift token, as a custom asset added into our wallet. If we don't do that, we're not going to be able to get some drift tokens. So what we need to do is we need to tootle across to our wallet. We need to come down where it says add here. So you can see send, receive, add. We're going to click on add and add asset. What you need to double check when you're doing this is you need to come across to Stellar Expert. You need to type into this box here. I've already done it, but I'll do it again. Just type in Drift, and you'll see of all the Drift assets down here, some of these are fake and scam ones. Some of these are the NFT side. What I would recommend that you do is have a look to see which has got the most payments, most trades, most funded trust lines. That's likely to be the right one. If you are unsure, please head over to our social channels and say, can you double check the asset issuer code for me? And the admins uh, and the account owners will come back to you with the correct asset issuer. Please do not believe anyone in those communities other than team members because there are scammers across, of course, in our midst across the whole of the crypto space. So I'm clicking onto that. This here is the asset issuer. So we've got the Drift token by driftxhub.com, which is the URL. And then we have the asset issuer here. Click on again. Now we have the ability to copy this asset, right? So we're just going to copy that asset, making sure that we double check the last three or four digits, and the, the, sorry, the first and the last. When we come across to our wallet here, 
and we're going to put the asset code. Well, we know that the asset code or name is Drift. We want to add it in there. So we double check. Yes, that's correct. I'm happy with that. This is optional at the bottom, this limit amount, and I'm adding that asset. So we can see here, uh, so I'm adding that asset. Double check all of the details again, specifically the asset issuer. Accept. Sign in with the password. And off we go. And then when that's done, when that's confirmed on the network that we've added that extra asset, we now have Drift. See that it's appeared. Okay, so we've got Drift in the top, which we are happy with. And now we can actually swap some of our XLM for Drift. And once again, using LumenSwap, we are going to need to ensure that we have, just click off that a second, ensure that we have the Drift asset added. When we come down here, we can see that it's already been added by me previously. But if you are unsure, add custom asset. Same procedure. Drift in there. Asset issuer in there. You can see it's already added, but if you haven't added it already, click that and you are in business. You cannot come into the pool and go, well, I can't find it on LumenSwap. We're not going to find a verified asset if it's not being verified. You're going to have to add the custom asset which is very, very simple. Select an asset, add custom asset, making sure you've got your Stellar Expert details, yeah? So the name, Drift, and the asset issuer, and then you can add there, and you are good to go. Next thing that we need to do is come to my pools. You don't have any pools here, you see, with this wallet. I'm going to add a new one. I want to go XLM and Drift, so I'm going to come down here, and then look for Drift, which I've added as the custom asset, remember? So I'll put that in there and look, it pre-populates. But, oh, newbie mistake, we haven't actually bought any Drift, right? So we haven't actually got any. So we need to whip across here to the swap. We need to select an asset down to the bottom because we've added it. Click onto Drift. Yeah, so the Drift being there, as you can see. If we've made sure we've entered the right correct information, you're going to be buying the right asset. And all I want to do there is I just want to get 30 XLM's um, worth as this um, demonstration, okay, at this demonstration video. I'm going to swap this. I'm going to confirm. We're waiting for the signature in our wallet. We're going to accept. So we have to do the password again. days waiting for that to confirm i'm hoping that should be fairly quick depending on how busy the network is and there we go so we've done it so now we've got our few drift and we've got some xlm so we're good to go and create this liquidity position we're clicking onto my pools now new pool you can see it's just automatically gone back to xlm and lsp we don't want that we want drift Right, so we've got this correct pair. Don't worry about the question mark. It is simply because Drift is not a verified asset on LumenSwap. Okay, as soon as it's verified, then you will see that there'll be the little logo, etc. there. Now, if we come down here, we can put in, if we just said, well, we want to put in 25 XLM. One second, take that out. If we want to put 25 XLM. You can see it pre-populates the bottom one too. To make sure it's exactly the same in dollar value, 50% on either side. So I can do the same on the bottom. You know, I can take that out and I can say I want to put 974 in. I'll put 974. Look, it's pre-populated the top. Right, it's as simple as that. It really is. Some people have said, oh, I've only put in one. You can't. It's impossible. It's impossible if you are on the automated market maker. You cannot go wrong because no matter what which side you put in, if you put 40 in there, look, it's telling me I've got insufficient drift balance, right, because I've not got enough. That's my balance there. You can't actually really bugger this up, right? You just have to look at this balance, which is the lower one in dollar value, put that one in, which is obviously the 974. I've got 29.9 XLM. I'm creating that pool. I'm confirming, I'm waiting for the signature, accepting, 
once again I'm putting that password in I'm confirming and we're waiting for the network to confirm that operation for us and then we should see it appear in my pools and hey presto we've now got a $17 position in the um, XLM and drift pool what you need to be careful of here okay and I need to ensure that you understand this fully if we come across so we've got this 17 bucks right position this is our wallet ad3z if I come across here go to liquidity pools and come down to the next page and next page somewhere down here somewhere we will find there we go Right, so we've got Drift XLM and we've got 88, click onto this, we've got $88,000 now worth of liquidity. We can see everyone's aping in to the liquidity pool knowing the rewards are going to be coming soon. So this 88000 you have to have 0.1% of the liquidity pool to be in the joke again. If you don't have 0.1%, all you're going to be getting is your percentage of these fees, which, as you can see, is not a great deal. So it's no point in really being in the pool. I would suggest you're only in this pool if you're putting 0.1% in throughout January because this is going to be the entrance level for the joke again. If we come down and we click onto Asset Holders here, look, yeah, we can see the different wallets that have got the different pool shares. Right the way down to, we go next page, people making sure they've got the 0.1. We can see here, this one has fallen out. These ones have fallen out yeah, of the reward zone because they're on 0.0099. Now, it's no good saying, oh, I was on 0.099, that's as good as. No, it's not. You have to be on 0.1. So I would say to you that you need to be ensuring that you have got like at least, at, well, over 0.1 right, at all times, just in case someone comes and puts a large amount in. As the liquidity goes up, the entrance level for the 0.1% goes up. But this isn't dictated by the team. Right, this is dictated by you, the liquidity providers. The more people that enter the pool, that pushes up the entrance level for everyone else. This is not us saying it. If it stayed at, say, $10,000, it would be $10. $100,000, $100. You know, uh, $1 million, it's going to be $1,000 that you're going to need to put in. So that's going to be $500 a drift, $500 of XLM. That's going to be the entrance point. At the minute, it's obviously a lot lower than that. But you can see here, not $100,000 to be 100 bucks yet, but it's about 88 bucks is going to be the entrance level of the 0.1%. Now, I just put in $17, so guess what? If I checked out my wallet, which is this bugger here, at the bottom, the 3Z, we just confirm that look. Yeah, the 3Z. We can see it's appeared, so you can check. I've got 0.02. I am not going to qualify for the joke again. Because the joke again needs what? Answers on a postcard, please. It needs 0.1% entrance level. So this is the cutoff right here. These at the minute are qualifying. These are not. But as this is increasing, and believe me, it's increasing, you can see the increase here, where we now have participants, 69 participants. But as this increases, yeah, this will move. So we have to come to Stellar Expert and keep our eyes on what the actual level of our liquidity pool point is. Okay, we have to keep our eyes on this because these people now have dropped out. And you know by looking at this how close it is to 1%. They came in thinking, I'm just going to put in 0.1% to the pool. doesn't work that way. As it's growing, you need to grow the amount you've got in. As it grows again, you need to grow the amount you're putting in. And I would say, you know, for me, 
I would be looking at several percent that you have of the pool to be on the safe side. You know, if you've got, say, a thousand dollars in liquidity in the pool, you know, you've got a fair amount of time until this pool hits one million dollars, haven't you? If everything stayed equal and, of course, the token valuation stayed the same, you know, that would have to be a million dollars for your 0.1% to be resembled by a thousand dollars because ten thousand dollars is one percent. $100,000 is 10% and a million dollars is the full pool. So that needs to go up some way yet, you'd be safe. But a lot of people haven't got $1,000 and they don't want to put that in. So it's a game. You've got to stay on top of it. But this is how easy it is. Now, some people say, well, I'm going to go with Stellar X or I'm going to go with another client. That's absolutely fine. I just use LumenSwap because I find it super simple. And as I said, you can use your Lobster Wallet secret key. You can put that in. If I was to disconnect this wallet, look, just come back to here. We connect wallet, private key. I can enter my key in now, connect my wallet up. So I can use my Lobster through this way as well, should I wish. So I can provide liquidity with my Lobster in this way. I think you can do it also with Wallet Connect on Stellar X. But as I said, I'm only teaching what I use. The easy, simple methods of doing this okay i use browser extension wallets i use a desktop i'm not mobile only but if i was using my lobster wallet on my mobile phone and linking in here i'd be accessing it with my secret key i hope all of that has made sense to you i hope that you now understand that how to add liquidity into the drift xlm pool but most importantly monitoring that LP uh, position that you've got to ensure it stays over 0.1%. Thanks, guys. Look forward to joining you in the next video very soon. Have a great day. Take care.